Wow, the mist is amazing this morning. Beautiful. Gonna be hot today. Welcome, welcome everybody. Fellow fish heads. You guys can already hear that dam. You know where I'm at. Alright folks, so I've just pulled up here at the mouth of the Warm Fork, here at the creek, and I'm already seeing some surface action. Pretty excited to see what I can get right off the bat. <laughs> hit it right at the edge of the water and he's off that's a quick release let's just easy buddy easy 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 get you right back in first cast of the morning first little fish of the morning little large mouth see a little guy gotta get bigger you know these fish are gonna move around a good bit in this water and the current is slowly pushing my bait towards the mouth and ideally let's see if we can reset this so I was fixated on those smallies that were jumping across the creek but I think what I'd really like to do is sit it right behind this seam because that's that should be where they're stacked up in my experience in the past year or so fishing this part of the water they'll have a tendency to stack up right right here behind this current but I also get the most amount of snags here as well Just lift it up. There he is. It's a, it's better. It's a better fish. <laughs> Came off quick release. Little guy. Just just a squeaker. Come on, fish. One good tap. This water wasn't cool all year long like it is. Now it gets warmer in the creek. But I'd say we'd be shooting for deeper holes this morning. But actually there's a fairly deep hole right out here in the middle as well. So let's uh, reposition this again. Load it up right behind that seam. this is got a fish on it feels a little bit better it's trying to get out in that current and give me a ride which I don't want it to do but it, it's fighting pretty decent I might have a pound or so on here it's hard to tell because I've got real I don't want to horse it in because I've got light line on here I've got 10 pound braid but I also have a leader there we go it's a little bit better size it's closer to what we're looking for Closer to what we're looking for this morning. Come on, fish. Hey, buddy. Come on in. I'm going to let you go. Don't get crazy.
These guys have got powerful, powerful jaws. And it's got that pretty good buried in it. So hang on a second. Let's get our little hemostats out. And get this guy free from the hook. And then we'll show it off to the camera. First halfway decent of the morning. There we go. Yeah, about a pound. Maybe just under. Probably go just about 12 inches beautiful beautiful little fish this morning i'll call that our first of the day let's get a cpr catch photo release and then we'll let him go all right little one sure do appreciate you playing along we'll try and get a, a double shot on the release here since we got two devices got this iphone 6s plus and the gopro 4 <laughs> pretty fast good job first on of the day we won't count that first first one I mean I guess that was this is the second one technically got uh, two landed one off the one thing that you always want to remember to do especially when you're dealing with smallmouth or any any larger fish any fish really anytime you catch one you always want to check your line make sure there's no phrase in it Make sure there's no semis running through your shop while you're trying to tell people how to do things differently. Another one. Ah, about the same. Cookie cutter, maybe a little smaller. <laughs> God, these smallies fight though, don't they? My goodness. They are just on fire today. Come here, guy. Come see me. Little fella. Easy. I'm going to get you out of this. I promise. Stop throwing it around. Stop, stop, stop. It's right in the top of the snout, which is a good hook set. That's what we want. It's what we want to see. Easy. Come on now. Give me the mouth. There you go, hon. I don't want to hurt you. Pops right out. Ah, smaller. It's smaller, but that's okay. I certainly don't mind. Man, these things are all muscle. Look at how beautiful this fish is, though, folks. I mean, just a real, real pretty, healthy, super healthy in this water. Just give you a good little send off here, buddy. You have a good one. Easy. Let's try and sail it out a little bit further. That's right about where we hooked up on that bigger one a couple of casts ago. Well, shoot! What's going on, brother? Hang on a second. Give me some of that. I know, right? Good to see you. Good to see you. I, I almost brought, I've got one of my favorite bait casters out in the uh, Jeep, but I tell you what, the, the finesse smallmouth bite is just on fire this that's morning. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I like I Shimano's. That's, that's good stuff bucks. right there. Yeah, you can't beat that. I wasn't going to pass that up even if I didn't think so. Yeah. And there's bass in there, but everybody who catches them hooks them in the throat because they're fishing on the bottom or fishing with a bobber. And so they're snagging them. them. So he's trying to get them all out of there and move them to a different pond. That way they're not just getting killed for no reason, you know? Yeah. So it's like, you like the bass fish? And every one you catch, I'll give you 50 cents. Okay. Okay. That, that's a good reason so to go I, fishing in the morning. So I get paid to work. Yeah. And paid to fish. So, I mean, I'm not... That sounds like a good boss. Right? <laughs> so I, I caught quite a few on the top water, bro. I lost one. He snapped 14 pound best. Oh, wow. Nothing. Fluorocarbon or mono? Like fluorocarbon. Wow. Uh, that's a good bass. Yeah. Well, hell, I'd do it for free. So I changed up and put it on a spinnerbait, and I don't know what it was about it, but the catfish, I guess the bigger ones are chasing all the bluegill and stuff they got in there. Yeah. So oh, I yeah. Caught, I caught six catfish, big catfish on spinnerbait on this ride, and I'm talking about this one. <laughs> no, I'm sure. I'm sure it was. Now, I've caught catfish on Texas. I've a on everything on. buzz bait chatter bait you name it they'll hit it if they're in the mood to yeah. feed usually out over open water I bought this wild thing or something by Berkeley. Berkeley yeah they they throw pretty good their bluegill pattern is one of my favorites I've caught a couple on it but it seems like they just want to smack a lot of times they just want to smack it I don't think it's fish on that's got some shoulders on it it's hard to tell with smallmouth though ah about a pound I'll take it though yeah, little guy. 
Oh, he's got it deep, too. Yeah, he did. I, no, it's in the corner of the mouth. He lost my worm. But he's not just... I thought it was deep at first because I couldn't see the worm. Easy, bud. Easy, bud. Not bad. We'll take him. Number four. Yeah, it is. Another little gem of a fish. He's about 10, 11 inches. Not bad. Yeah. Pretty red eyes. Let him get bigger. I was fishing my spot down there. There's Bubba. Or at least something that feels like maybe Bubba. Got some shoulders on it, giving me a good pull. See, they all want to run this current. Man, she's pulling. She is just pulling and pulling and pulling. Come on. Not bad, not bad. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. That is a good smallmouth bass. Hey, CJ! That's a nice fish. Let's get you back in the water. Thanks for playing. Beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> all right we're pulling into spot number two this is the secret super squirrel spot wow this is uh this is nice that used to be a big brush pile right there and lloyd washed it out yeah it used to be quite no kidding <laughs> all right Show you guys what I'm throwing right now. It's a little custom wiggle wart. I didn't do the bill on this one, but it's definitely got the Ozark colors. Got that orange, a little bit of orange on the side, and that Ozark green crawl. We're having a little girl, by the way. A little. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, there's a little, a little trout, isn't it? Yep, little bow. Putting on this wiggle wart. He's just a puppy. Ah, 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 ah. Stay still. I can't help you if you're going to mess around. Ah. Well, unless the hatchery. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Stop, stop. You know the kill spot on there, right? Uh-uh. Hang on. I just about got this out. Well, the camera was off, but we got a real beautiful, tiny little fish on our finesse stuff. <laughs> See, this is nice, too, because there's no um, direct sun. You stay in shade good bit. Looks like a snake came out of the tree. Little little baby snake, I think. Yeah, hit the water, hit the surface down that way. Well, you want to walk down to your spot? There we go. Smalley?
Pretty little guy. I mean, they're all beautiful out of here. Yeah. First Molly on the new spot. Real pretty. There we go. <laughs> what do we have here? Quick release. Pretty little fish. If I didn't have the drive, I'd say yeah. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so did my camera. Came right, chased it all the way. <laughs> A little tiny trout. We'll take it though. We'll take it. Now I know. As soon as we come up out of that, deep water. that was pretty. That was a nice strike. I hope the camera caught all that because I sure saw it. Easy, buddy. You said right here. Come on, get on that. He's peeing on me. Yeah. I didn't want you to pee on me. Come on, buddy. Easy. Oh. Yeah, he wanted that. Shoot. There we go. Little bow. Pretty little guy. Look at those red tip fins. Yep. Get you back home. He's gone. Well, folks, I am absolutely baked. Heading home. It has been. It's been a great day overall, but it's. We picked the hottest day of the year to come out. Met up with my buddy CJ. Um, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Caught a ton of smallies this morning. Caught a decent one, probably pushing three. Um, at first I thought it was the same one that we saw when Karen Brickhouse and Craig London were up here from Maryland. I'm sorry, from Virginia. I'm from Maryland. But no, um, then we saw that one surface again, just like we did last week. So. Um, caught a big one, but didn't catch Bubba. It is 98 degrees in the shade. Heat index is around 109. Hottest day of the year. No bites in about an hour. So, you know it's time to stop fishing when you stop sweating. That's how hot it is outside today. Overall, we had a really good day. Um, very happy with what went on earlier in the morning. Fished all over the place. Missouri, Upper Arkansas, Mid-Arkansas. Got to hang out with my buddy CJ. He got some killer baits. Uh, I think he caught one on it today. We were kind of both zigzagging and going our own ways, but he caught a couple. I landed 15 total, a few were dinks. Hopefully there's some decent footage you guys will see in this video or have seen in the video um, of a young wild rainbow trout, or at least one that was a holdover and has grown chasing a bait in some really clear water. Uh, got introduced to two new spots. Thank you, CJ. Always fun. And uh, generally had a great time. But unfortunately, it's just too hot. It's time to go home, kick up my feet, have an adult beverage. No keepable trout, so I don't have to clean anything, thank goodness, when I get home. And uh, as always, I want to give you guys a, a big thanks for hanging out with me today. Much appreciated. Thanks for clicking the like button. Thanks for subscribing. See you next time on the water. Happy casting.